Now let's start with this first question that came in to us. Whitney in New York asked, can we consider the pandemic over? Dr. Wen. Well, I would say it depends on who is asking and for what purpose. If we're asking, is the pandemic over for the purpose of understanding this as a policy issue, the answer is definitely not. We've seen that COVID has really surprised us thus far with new variants that have risen, new surges, and we don't know what might come our way. There may be a variant in the future that evades the immunity provided by prior infection or vaccination. We need to be ready for that. And we don't know whether that's going to come our way or not. And so policymakers should not consider the pandemic should be over to be over, I really hope that Congress steps up and provide the Biden administration with what they need in terms of funding for new vaccines in the future, for testing, for treatments that we really need. But I would say if people are asking, is the pandemic over for them? I think there are many Americans who would say it already is in the sense that they have already returned to pre-pandemic normal. And many people will say that they have not. We are at a point in the pandemic where the decision making has shifted from government mandates to individual response and individual decision making. And I think what we have to do, and I know what Emily has done a lot too, is helping people to navigate what are the risks in their own lives, depending on their own medical circumstances, their tolerance of risk, and how important resuming normalcy is for their physical health, but also their emotional health. It may be very reasonable to say, I'm vaccinated and boosted, um, my children are vaccinated, and I want to go back to all aspects of travel and dining indoors and having my kids be in school, doing all their extracurriculars with no masks and not thinking about COVID. I think the pandemic could be over for them. But I think just as reasonably, there could be many people who are saying, I'm around people in my household who are immunocompromised. Uh, I'm not yet sure about the risks of long COVID. I want to still be very cautious. Those are all reasonable paths for people to take at this point in time. 